Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and I'm talking with Abby Alidusti, who is the CEO of AWTG. Abby, great to see you and thanks for talking to us. Thank you. To start with, tell us what AWTG is and what it does. Uh, AWTG is the end-to-end -end engineering services. We provide a technology solution to our customer. We established in 2006 and we have uh, more than eight offices in globally. And the aim is to provide a full ecosystem to support our client. Now, who are your clients then? Well, from operator, from council, from regulatory, from uh, uh, enterprise, and also private. AWTG stands for Advanced Wireless Technology Group, so we see what you're doing, where you're coming from, from that alone. Are you involved in IoT and 5G? Yes, of course. We have started involving the 5G from 2012 and uh, basically invest a lot in the 5G. We are very heavily involved with the 5G and IoT, and of course we have our own platform, we invest in our platform to create uh, some sort of ecosystem which can enable uh, the client to use the, as many as sensors they want with our platform. So what's your strategy? You must have a roadmap and a plan to where you want to get to. What is it? We see we have seen the major shift in technology and uh, in order to capture the value, uh, we have to invest. So in order this, by investing heavily in our R&D and engineering expertise, and also bring the people with the expertise. As we can see, 5G is actually, is not the technology, is uh, bring a lot of value to vertical and to industry. So we have to make ourselves ready. So is AWTG involved in 5G? and IoT, and where are you within those technologies? By AWT is a sort of involvement for 5G from 2012, and because we know 5G is coming in 2019, so we do a lot of preparation. We invest heavily in our R&D and software and expertise, and uh, we work closely with our partner and also vendor to capture what is needed in the industry. So that's our strategy to understand the challenges we're facing for optimization and planning of the 5G. In 2015, we deployed the first uh, 5G testbed, which was 5G IC, and we are still we are working with them very closely. In 2017, we started working with Worcestershire Council and Millbrook. So as far as 5G is concerned, Abby, you've talked about the partners you're working with, your, who your clients are and so on. What do you see as being the main thrust? When, what do they want from the 5G advice and test bedding and so on that you're providing them with? What is it that they want to do? Well, everybody, all the, the, the government, actually the, the UK government invests heavily on the 5G test bed. So it, I think they learned the lesson from 4G and 3G. So now it's a good news is we have a test bed and uh, they was invited any the startup company, big company, small operator, and the 4.0 industry to come and run the test to understand the challenges they see, such as spectrum sharing, network sharing, and, and so on. So to understand what is the latency, how latency can help for driverless car. So all this is coming as a vertical to 5G. I'll be a final question to you. Um, what are you doing at AWTG to enable 5G? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, of course, we have to do our bit, and uh, we, are a f we are the only company in London we have a 5G testbed, end-to-end, -to -end, a true testbed. So we are, we are inviting the SME, we are inviting the small media company, and even Industry 4, and all the vertical to come to our office and run their solution, end-to-end -end solution. And this is a free of charge. We create a space for them and comfortable place to test. Abby Alidusti, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for having me.